One of the most popular pieces of streaming equipment today is called an Elgato Stream Deck. And if you don't know what a Stream Deck is, it's basically a little box that has programmable buttons on it that can be assigned to do any number of things for you while you're live streaming or you're using Photoshop or any number of different applications. Well, streamers use this primarily to switch scenes or to uh, put information in the chat. But in today's video, we're going to be covering how to use the Stream Deck to do something called a multi-action. And I use this specifically in my stream to do this right here. This little high five. And not only do I have that high five pop up and play the sound and then go away, it also does this. And it puts the high five in the chat when I actually press that button. So it does all of this at one time. And multi-actions are really the way that you can take your stream content to the next level and they simplify a bunch of different processes for you without you even having to move your mouse over and, and press anything. You just press one button on your stream deck and you kick off that chain reaction. So with that being said, today we're gonna jump in, look at the stream deck, look at multi-actions and see how to set up something like this high five that I've got right here. Before we jump into the rest of the video, I do want to let you guys know I stream live on Twitch at twitch.tv slash eaglegarrett almost every day of the week, so you can come hang out with me over there anytime. We'd love to have you with us in our community known as The Flock, and I've been streaming there for three years, and for the last year, I've actually been full-time on Twitch, uh, and, and I've really had a chance to run this stream deck through its paces as a full-time content creator, and of course, part-time before that. And so I've learned some things about the Stream Deck that may be helpful to you if you're just getting started out with it, or maybe if you've been using the Stream Deck for a little while, but feel like you haven't unlocked its full potential. I'm going to show you a few things with these multi-actions that can really take your stream to the next level. So today we're going to be looking at this, the high five that we talked about, and I'm going to be showing you how to set that up. But hopefully this will also give you those building blocks you need to do your own things, add your own things to the stream. You don't have to copy this high five specifically, but you can implement this as a way to enhance your stream and get different things happening uh, while you're live that will connect to your audience and give them a little bit more interactivity. And so that's what I'm hoping for this video today. And we're gonna dive right into it. I'm gonna show you exactly how I set up this high five and how you can use multi actions on your stream deck for your stream. So the first thing you need to know about this process is that there are a couple of different places that you're going to need to do some setup work. One of them is in your computer, one of them is in your broadcasting software, and then one of them is in your stream deck. And so we're going to start out looking at our desktop first. And so if we'll go over here, we'll look at the uh, desktop we got going on. And as you can see, I've got the stream deck opened right here. And this is the program that stream deck uses. Uh, for anybody who has a Stream Deck, you probably already know this, but this is where you can set up your Stream Deck and all of your functionality happens right here. Now, as you guys can see, I have a high five right there. And if I press that button, it's going to go ahead and throw a high five up on the screen. And uh, it's good to go. It's set up and ready to go. And if I click on it, you can see we've got three actions that take place when this high five is pressed. But instead of just showing you what I have set up, I'm actually going to walk you through this process and we're going to set up another high five so that you can do the same thing on your stream for whatever you want to add. You don't have to add a high five. You can add a, you know, a be right back screen or you can add a, you know, a muted screen whenever you're muted. Whatever you want to do, it's all going to work the same. So uh, the first thing we need to do, though, before we do this is we're actually going to set up a folder on our computer. And so if you guys will look right over here, I've got my high five graphic right here. This is my high five graphic that we are going to use on the screen. And we've got an audio file right here. And that audio file is the sound effect that happens when we do the high five. So the first thing I'm gonna do is create a folder, right click and click folder here. And we're gonna create a brand new folder that we're gonna title uh, high five number two, okay? And, uh, and you can actually create a folder that could be all of the processes that you have, all the graphics that you have happen on your stream. It doesn't have to just be one specific function. It could be everything that happens on your, your stream you put into one folder. And that one folder is where, where all of those things are. And you know, as long as it's in that folder, the links will be good. If you take it out of that folder, it'll break the link and you'll have to reattach it in OBS. I'll show you what I'm talking about here in just a minute. So we've got high five number two, and we're gonna drag the sound effect and the graphic that we wanna use into this folder. And this is gonna help keep things pretty clean for us. And as you can see, we've got, uh, we've got this high five folder. And if I am to open up this folder here, You'll notice that now both of my both of my items are in here, just to give us a little bit of an extra visual there. There we go. So I've got both my items in there. And now these are able to be linked in OBS because the next step we need to do is open up OBS, which you guys are going to see a little streamception here. 
<laughs> and there, there we are. You can see it. You can see it. There's like a million of me now. So the first thing we're going to do is go down here and we're going to add a high five number two. We've already got one here. We're going to do a brand new one. So we're going to click the little plus button and we're going to go up to image. We're going to add an image. And uh, as you can see, I actually have my high five image, the one that we use right now already down here. So we're going to name this one. We're going to create a new one and name it high five two. High five two. We're going to hit OK. And that is going to open up this screen right here. And it's going to ask us for an image file. Now, because we put our image file in that folder, then when I hit browse, I'm going to be able to go to my desktop and you see high five number two. There's that folder that we created. So we're going to click that and there's my image. So I'm going to click on that and hit open. Now that's going to put the high five image right here inside of OBS and it's pulling from that file on my computer. So I'm going to click unload image when not showing that way. It's not constantly trying to be up there. It cuts down on the processes on OBS that you're using. And then we're going to hit OK. So this high five is up there. It's 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 movable. If we unlock the preview uh, section that I've got here, I can click on that high five and I can move it around. And so I'm just going to kind of snap it right here to the do it to the middle, the middle of the screen here. So we're going to throw that high five up to the middle of the screen and we should be good to go. And we'll go ahead and relock this preview. There we go. Now the high five is on right now. It's staying up on the screen. But the next thing we want to do is move down here to that little plus and we're actually going to add a uh, another file, another input here. And this time we're going to go to media source and we're going to click media source. And at this point, see, I've got high five sound right here. Well, we're going to create new and I'm going to do high five sound number two, create new and hit OK. And now it's going to ask us to browse our computer again for the sound file. Well, because we put the sound in the uh, the file with the high five, we're going to open it. And there it is right there. High five sound on our desktop. So we're going to click that and hit open. Restart playback when this source becomes active for this high five or anything that you want to have a uh, sound effect play when it shows up on the screen, you want to have this marked and then show nothing when playback ends. So you want to have that clicked as well. Uh, this is all should be good here. It's hundred percent speed. We don't need to speed it up or slow it down. We're going to hit okay. And now we have not only a high five, but we have high five sound number two right here. Now, if we take away this high five and we take away the sound, you'll notice that right here, our audio goes away. And if I turn it back on, boom, there it is. Sound comes back in. So we're going to turn it off. And the next thing I want to do, and this keeps it very simple for me, but this also is going to make this work a lot easier for you, is you want to group these two things together, these two sources. And actually what I need to do is select both of these. If you just uh, hold the control key down, when you once you click one, hold control and then click again left click again and it'll highlight two options. And now we're gonna right click and hit group selected items. And that's gonna put both of these items in a group and we can name it whatever we want. We're gonna call it I5 uh, for YouTube, right? YT, I5 YT. So there you go, we got the High 5 YT. Now, you'll notice the High 5 and the sound effect are both turned off. But the overall grouping here is turned on. And this is the way you want it. And I'll show you why here in just a second. OK, so the next thing we need to do is go into the settings of our OBS. And uh, we're going to click on that, bring it up. And we're going to go down to the hotkeys section. Now, if this does not show up for you when you click on hotkeys, if you can't find your group that you just created, you need to go ahead and shut down and restart OBS because sometimes it doesn't necessarily register that you created that group until the next time you open OBS. So I actually just had to do that uh, right just a second ago. Um, but now that we're here, we're under the hotkey section, we're going to go down and we're going to find our high five YT group that we just made. And here it is right here. You can see it right here. So high five YT has four different slots for hotkeys. One of them is the uh, show and hide high five number two graphic, right? There's one per per uh, thing here for showing and hiding. Then you've got the same thing for the sound, show and hide the sound. So we're going to make all four of these the exact same key command. So we're like for me, I use a lot of like control plus something. And in this case, we're going to do control plus and then the numpad plus sign. So control and numpad plus sign. That's our hotkey. And we're going to make that for each one of these. So I'm just going to hold down control and plus sign on the numpad control and plus sign and control and plus sign. There we go. So this gives us the hotkey. It triggers the sound and the graphic at the exact same time to turn it on. If I if I press that hotkey, if I press control and numpad, it's going to turn them on. And if I press control and numpad again, it's going to turn them off and it's going to do both of them because they're all set to the same thing. So we're going to hit apply and we're going to hit OK. OK, so once we've got that set up, we finished our OBS portion of the setup process. So we're going to go ahead and minimize this. 
And the next thing we're gonna do is set up our stream deck. OBS is all set up with the graphics, they're ready to go, but how do we get the stream deck to talk to OBS and tell it what to do? That's what we're gonna do right now. So if you'll notice on the stream decks, um, on the stream decks program here, once you get this downloaded on your computer, over here to the right side, you have all kinds of different options. There's options for your OBS studio, there's options for the stream deck, uh, you can do options for soundboard things, uh, Twitch specific options for the stream deck, system hotkeys. We're going to use a little bit of a couple of different sections here. So when you're setting up a multi-action, the first thing you have to do is set up a multi-action. So under stream deck, you're going to go to multi-action and you're going to drag that over into an empty slot. Now, once we drag that over, it's going to ask us, what on earth do you want us to do with this multi-action? So the first thing we're going to do is title it. This is going to be high. 5YT. All right, so high five YT. Uh, and then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to drag a couple of different functions over into this multi action area. So what we're doing is we're trying to get the stream deck to do those key binds of the control and the numpad plus sign for us so that we can just press one button and it'll activate that hotkey. And so since it's a hotkey, we need to scroll down and we need to look under system where they actually have a hotkey command. So we're gonna grab that hotkey and we're gonna drag it over and drop it right there. And so we've got a hotkey command. It's gonna ask us, what do you want that hotkey to be? We're gonna click to assign and I'm gonna hold control and the plus sign on the numpad and boom, there it is. Control and the plus sign on the numpad. Next thing we're gonna do is I actually, I like to, like we looked at in the beginning of this video, I like to have it also put the emotes, the high five emotes that I use in the chat. Now you don't have to do this if you don't wanna do, like if your application is not the same, but uh, for me, I thought it was a cool little feature. So we're actually gonna go up to Twitch and we're gonna grab a chat message. We're gonna pull that over, okay? And then we're going to title it high five, okay? And then on the message, we want it to put our high five command. And actually, I think I spelled this out. There we go. So we do an Eagle G high five. So you put your, whatever your, your emote name command is for the chat, you put that right in there or whatever message you want it to pop up. You could literally say in the chat, you know, Eagle Garrett just gave you a massive high five, right? You could say something like that. But whatever you want it to say, you could put that there. You can also do anything else. If you want to do the high five and you want it at the same time to turn it into, you know, a sub only chat or something, you can do that. You can do whatever you want. And uh, you might not be using a high five, you may be using some other command altogether. So look through all these different options over here on the right side of the stream deck and see what they have available. All kinds of really cool stuff. So check that all out. For us, we're gonna do the hotkey, we're gonna do the Twitch chat message, and then we're gonna do one more hotkey. And that last hotkey is going to be to turn off what we started. So where's the hotkey? Let's see. Oh, right, uh, right here, hotkeys. There it is. We're gonna drag another hotkey up there and this one is gonna be the exact same. It's gonna be control and the plus sign on the numpad. So you'll notice that the way our multi-action is set up right now, we have a control plus numpad hotkey right there. Twitch chat message happens and it puts a high five in the chat. And then actually let's go ahead and make this like multiple high fives. I'm gonna go ahead and paste it a couple times here. There we go. And then we have another hotkey, which is the control pad number one. That means all of this stuff is going to play in succession. Now, they're going to play pretty quickly in succession. So it's all going to happen almost at the same time. If you need a delay to happen between each of these commands, there is an actual under the OBS section. There actually is a delay feature and you can drag that over and you can put it between like, let's say we want the delay to be, be between the chat message and when the high five goes away on the screen. Then I could bring this delay over and I could put a millisecond delay of a thousand or 2000 or however much I want to delay the high five from going away. But in this case, we want it to be pretty quick. So we're going to get rid of that. But there is a delay option if you need the multi actions to take longer between when they happen. So just giving you guys a little heads up on that one. Keep that in mind. It could come in handy. I use that for uh, like a no stream sniping screen when I'm playing and the screen pops up, but I kept forgetting to take the screen away. So I would, I, I, what I did is I went in and put a delay so that the graphic pops up on the screen and it stays there for a minute and a half while I'm, you know, getting into a game and we don't want stream snipers or whatever. And then it will take it down for me without me having to remember to press a button. So we got that set up. It's good to go. Multi-actions should be ready. So once we have that set, we're gonna hit this little arrow here and go back and you can see we have our high five. If you would like to change the graphic, like I've got a high five graphic for my button, you can literally click on this and then you can create the graphic and you can uh, you can drag it right here. 
So for me, I have uh, Stream Deck logos and I can pull those open and we've got a high five logo here and I could just drag that right on top and boom, there it is. So we should have it set up and ready to go. The only other thing that you need to do, and I'll, I'll show you this really quick. Let's go ahead and open OBS really fast. Uh, I've got the high five YT open right here. You guys can see. But if I wanted to put this, let's say on, on this scene where it's just me, it's just my video, I would need to go back into OBS and I would need to go to that scene. And it's hard for me to show you right now because it's covered up by just my video. But I would need to go and add this as a group. So you can add this high five YT to any any scene that you want, or yeah, any scene right over here that you want in OBS by clicking this little plus button and clicking group. And then you would go down and you would select that high five YT. Now it's not here right now because I've already had it added, but if it wasn't added, you would be able to click on it from this section right here. Since we have it added right here though, then I should be able to, and I want you guys to see, notice these two are off. This one is on. This one should always stay on because when we do our hotkey, let's go ahead and press it right now. Boom. You guys see how those both turned on? Look at it one more time. They both turn on and they turn off. High five activated and sound activated and it put the high five in the chat. All of it happened all at the same time and that is literally how you set up the, the multi-action on the stream deck and I use that multi-action all the time every time somebody comes in uh, and they follow the channel I give them a high five and they're like dude how do you do that I want to know so I thought I'd make this video and hopefully it'll help you guys and also lead you to other creative things you can do with the stream deck and using multi-actions that will really enhance your stream and your your content that you're uh, that you're putting out and so guys if you like this video make sure you smack that like button and, uh, and help get this video out to as many people as possible. And of course, if you like this video and wanna see other videos like this, smack that subscribe button to be a member of this channel and smack the notification bell to know when the videos go live. I'm also on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Eagle Garrett, like I mentioned earlier. Come check me out over there. We'd love to have you as a member of the community and uh, to talk with you there live. I'm live almost every day, so come by anytime. I'm on uh, Twitter pretty regularly, so you can come check me out on uh, Twitter. Instagram also on there quite a quite a bit and try to try to keep up with the post not as much as Twitter but as much as I can and on Facebook if you're on Facebook come check me out Eagle Garrett on there guys uh, also we have a wonderful discord community links for all of this stuff is in the description below uh, but join our discord community the flock on discord we've almost got 2,000 members it's an awesome community of gamers and streamers and if you come over there you can link your discord and your twitch channels together and it will show the rest of the discord when you go live on twitch and so it kind of is a way for us to help support each other and grow together and uh and then check each other's channels out and and and, and be a part of each other's community so with that being said you guys i hope you enjoyed this video make sure to rock on peace out god bless and hopefully i will see you in the next video Last but not least, kick out! Oh, I shot my own wall. Oh! Dude! Somebody, somebody clip that! Somebody clip that, dude! Somebody clip that, bro! Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Oh my gosh, dude!